Hello folks, welcome once again to a Gaz Labs vlog and today I wanted to show you this. This is a Flex 1500 and I think it probably represents some of the best value that you can get from a, a, a fully SDR transceiver um, at the moment. And it's all thanks to, I think, uh, people that have sort of followed this on um, with the software, keeping the software up to date. And it looks as if uh, someone, uh, KE9NS, uh, has um, basically carried on the mantle, as it were, and has been sort of uh, almost single-handedly supporting the, this, this particular platform. And it's a lovely... These things were very good when they came out. And they still seem to hold their own. So let me show you a quick close-up of it. So we'll whiz over to the other uh, camera. And what we've got here is a, a lot of connectivity. You've actually got some some uh, transverter support here. So you've got TX and uh, RX transverter port. You've got the flex wire I/O. Um, again, that might be useful to you. A 10 megs um, reference in. Um, obviously an antenna port and a DC uh, connector as well as um, a ground connector there. On the front um, you've got a microphone connector, power button, um, key input, phone output and you've also got importantly is a USB. Now the 3000 and 5000 are still very good receivers and uh, transceivers but unfortunately they need firewire I believe if I if I remember rightly not many PCs these days have that it's, it is quite old now if you're lucky enough to have a firewire card then then fine and one comes along then why not um to say this guy uh, KE9NS I'm just reading off his website it seems to have supported quite a lot of it and um you know that's uh, really really good of him to do that so what I'm going to do is I'll show you his web page. So if I if I ping over now to his web page, and you should be able to see that, this is his uh, this is the the home of said support, and you can see he's done quite a lot of work here to actually do this. It's, there's tons, um, but the software itself is very very good, and it, the skin that they're using is absolutely fabulous, um, really really good. But not only that, you've got the manuals, you've got. Uh, the service um, books and all sorts of things in there. So um, I think uh, somewhere in there, yeah, you've got the Flex 1500 service manual, the owner's manual, um, and all the other ones as well. Um, and if you're in the USA, then there's some legacy service for, for your Flex uh, hardware. It goes on to tell you about how to get Windows to work with it and what not to do. But here's the most important thing. You can now download their version of the software, which is supposedly gone up beyond 2.8. Um, and yeah, so there you have it. So it's a great website, great read. Um, so uh, thank you to uh, uh, to this guy uh, for doing that. Um, he's uh, he's done a fabulous job so uh, yeah amazing so what i've done is i've downloaded that software so um i'm gonna just take two seconds out and i'm just gonna hook this up now i don't have an aerial up at the moment which is a shame should i go and put one up um yeah let me um let me go put an aerial up and i will be back in just a tick okay so i've put an aerial up and um, we've looked at the um, one thing just to bear in mind on those uh, on the on the flex 1500 on the back they've actually got some BNC sockets which are very fragile they can actually be ripped off of the main board quite easily it doesn't often happen but it can happen so when you're buying one of those if you do see one make sure that they're not absolutely flapping around everywhere there's a little bit of movement but it shouldn't be flapping around and um, the other thing is um, do bear in mind that you can you can change them okay and the, the one that I would change the the quickest would be the antenna one the, the rest of them are pretty you know strong enough but the antenna one seems to get more stick than anything so um you know do do have a little look at that but do do also bear in mind that it's it's rarely the um hot um pin that actually becomes 
um, damaged or ripped off the board. It's normally the, the where the outer of the BNC socket is pulled off the board. And so you could potentially just elongate the hole in the in the back panel, put a proper chassis mount, um, something like an SO239 or an N-type or whatever you like in there. And there is a way of actually getting that swapped over and uh, with something in there and then just take the pin down to the um, to the hot spot on the on the board via you know a piece of uh, coax and that would work very well indeed so I'd recommend that so let's head over to the software and I've already got it running down the bottom here and we can see that uh, that there's a huge facelift on uh, on this software it's just amazing so um, it's um, they've done such a good job um, of this and uh, I think they should be well chuffed um, what else can we do with it? What can I show you with it? Um, I'm not going to make this. Um, I, I won't make this all, all um, you know, very much detailed or anything. But I'll just show you the basic uh, layout of the board. Um, you've got a lot of control over bits and pieces. Um, you know, you've got uh, zoom function. Um, you've got all sorts of things here just you know click to zoom um, and uh, which I quite like that's that's nice um, you can also do it's set for auto uh, level you can you've got a little bit of control down here I'm not sure quite what that does but it doesn't matter um, but if you if you get the crosshairs up and then left mouse uh, click on it it will actually skip to that if you right mouse click on it the crosshairs disappears and uh, re uh, appears so uh, here we can like go to there and there so we're going to turn the noise reduction off because I think that's worthwhile listening to so we've got a we've got a couple of stations there and I'm using the mouse wheel to do this But I've also got one of those shuttle um, wheels as well. Let's whiz over here. And it's typical, isn't it? So yeah, you've got quite a lot there going on. So let me just uh, turn him off for a moment. Um, you've got quite a lot, lot going on there, but you've also got quite a lot in the way of display. You've got um, your pan adapter and your panafol. What else you got in there? Um, panafol uh, 8020 and you've got a waterfall, which is what it is. You can see there, you can have it, you know, turn the 3D on and off. Um, and you've got a panoscope. What else you got there? Spectrum analyzer. You've got the scope. And you've got phase. That one's quite pretty. Uh, phase two. Uh, you've got completely off. Continuum. That one's quite funky. Don't quite know what that one does. But I quite like the uh, the Panafall, and I quite like it on 3D. It looks quite cool. Down the right hand side here, you've got your main controls. They're really nice. VFOB, which you can turn on and off. I think if it's uh, suitable, it might only work on the um, the 3000 and 5000, the the, uh, the 1500 or the 1500 um, is not so so hot. Um, you've got drive, AGC, the preamp, you can set your preamp. Um, what else? Um, this is your sort of like your audio control. Um, you can split and do all sorts of things here. This here is the noise reduction. Let's have a quick listen to the noise reduction. So let's turn that back on. It's not the best noise reduction. But it's not bad. Um, 
It's quite nice. Notch filters, noise blankers. Don't know what that one is. Spur reduction. Well, it does something funky up there. Don't know what a bin does. Doesn't matter. Averaging, peak. You've got tracking notch filters, which I think you can just add in there as you as and where you want them. Um, yeah, so there you go. I'm going to stick a fork in that. I think that is, I think that's pretty much sum this up. So all I'm saying is that for, you know, a couple of hundred quid, you can pick one of these Flex 1500s up. Um, and what a nice little bit of kit. And uh, someone has gone to an awful lot of trouble to keep this software alive and well. So why not use it? That's what I say. Thanks for watching. See you soon. And I hope these videos are in some way useful uh, to you. Um, I'm going to run a little live session, a uh, little live video in the near future, just uh, in case that uh, anyone's interested. Um, looking for some questions. So again, if you have any questions, put them in the comments or head over to um, the Facebook Gaz Lab um, chat, uh, group. Um, so do give us a, a um, you know, a, drop us a line and uh, say hello there. And if you've got any questions that you want me to answer on a live thing, then please do. Um, I'm going to give that a go, um, maybe for a couple, who knows. Anyway, see you soon, and stay safe, and uh, have fun. Bye-bye.